Hey everyone, this is Chris with the company to be named later. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Now, as promised, we're getting around to our finally much anticipated knife sharpening for beginner series. Every day in our lives, we use a knife of some sort, whether it's your you know kitchen knife that you're pretty much used to, a fixed blade knife when you're out in the field, or lots of people carry small little pocket folding, as we call them, EDC blades. Now I'm going to tell you throughout this whole series, get used to seeing this guy. He's basically going to be the knife we're going to use on a lot of examples. Now stand by as we get through the intro. We're going to show you a whole bunch of systems that you're going to see throughout this whole series. Alright guys, here we go. Now, as you can see right here, we have what's, for, you know, basically called whetstones. These are your most common sharpening systems that are out there. Now, I'm going to say straight off the bat, for every single knife there is on the planet, there's somebody that has a different way to sharpen it. I am not an expert by any means whatsoever. I am not a pro at this. I am someone who's devoted a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of knowledge into figuring out how to put a good edge on a blade. You see some very common stones here from the Smith's Sharpening System. You also see one right here that we're just recently starting to fall in love with from the Grocery Art people. It has a 1,000 grit side and a 6,000 grit side. And something else pretty interesting from the Wazoo Survival Guys. It's a very incredible neat little stone that has a little hole in there that you can wear on a lanyard around your neck or secure to some gear. Now I'm going to tell you when you use wet stones you have an option for either water or oil, but we'll get into that during our whetstone section of the you know section of the knife sharpening. As we come over here, we have some field systems. Now these guys, I'm going to tell you, you're going to hear all kinds of horror stories about some of them. You know about these little blades ripping metal off. But if you're out in the field and you need to get your blade sharpened and you need something done quickly, this might be a good set for you. We've also recently gotten to the shop Japanese water stones. Now these things are pretty freaking phenomenal. They're incredible. We're just learning how to get them down pat. You will see a video on them as well. You may remember the guys over at WorkSharp. We did a video on these guys and this is one hell of a system. We're going to revisit it and go over what we had learned before and some new pointers that we've had. Also from WorkSharp. We decided to step up and get their big, beefy knife and tool sharpener. This thing is phenomenal. It's basically, as you can see, a belt-fed system. It comes with three different belts. We'll get into that one as well. You also have little, basically inside your wallet, little diamond plates that you, know, you can use in a ready expedited fashion, especially if you're out in the field and whatnot. After all your knife sharpening is done, the process that some people seem to forget, well, that's stropping your blade on a leather strap. Now, it can either be a rough cowhide kind of one like this, or it can be a smooth paddle. This one has leather on two sides. We've used it with green compound and red compound. And yeah, that, that's what's here in the bag is, you know, various compounds. Also, with your blades, you have care and maintenance. We'll get into this as well. Like I said, guys, this is a very, very brief overview. These are primarily the systems we are going to be looking at. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because a lot of fun is getting ready to begin.